dive into the annals of Indian history and you'll find the roots of the Communist Party of India taking hold in the early 20th century. Forming in 1925, the party was a beacon for many passionate revolutionaries inspired by the Russian Revolution's promise of a workers' paradise. Early leaders like M. N. Roy and S. V. Gate played pivotal roles in shaping the party's ideology and structure. The party's influence on the Indian independence movement was undeniable. It provided a platform for those who sought not just freedom from British rule, but also a radical transformation of society. However, the initial years were fraught with struggles. The party faced relentless persecution from British authorities and internal ideological conflicts. Yet it managed to survive and grow, driven by the unwavering belief in a socialist future. The Communist Party of India was born out of a desire for a socialist society, but the road to its realization was far from smooth. With India's independence in 1947, the Communist Party of India found itself in uncharted territory. As the nation rejoiced, the party grappled with its new role in a sovereign India. No longer were they revolutionaries against a colonial power. Instead, they found themselves as political players in the world's largest democracy. The party's initial years in independent India were characterized by a series of highs and lows. In particular, the Telangana rebellion stands out. This peasant revolt against feudal lords, which began in 1946, turned into a full-blown armed guerrilla warfare, with the Communist Party at its forefront. This event became a powerful symbol of the party's commitment to agrarian reform and social justice. However, it also led to a nationwide crackdown on the party by the Indian government, pushing it into a political wilderness for a brief period. As the 1950s rolled in, the party began to regain its footing, winning state elections and even forming governments. But beneath the surface, ideological differences were simmering. The party was divided between those who favoured a parliamentary path to socialism and those who advocated for a more radical revolutionary approach. These differences came to a head in 1964. That year, the party experienced a seismic split. Disagreements over the party's direction led to a faction breaking away to form the Communist Party of India, Marxist. This split was not just a division of the party, but a division of its ideology, its strategy and its vision for India's future. The two parties, while both subscribing to the broader tenets of communism, differed significantly in their approach to achieving their goals. This split had far-reaching implications. It not only weakened the influence of the Communist Party in national politics, but also led to a fragmentation of the left-wing movement in India. From then on, the Communist Party of India and the Communist Party of India, Marxist, would chart their own distinct paths, often finding themselves at odds with each other. The split in 1964 marked a significant turning point in the history of the Communist Party of India, altering its course forever. The Communist Party of India and its offshoot, the Communist Party of India, Marxist, have both tasted power, albeit in specific regions of the country. Now, let's journey through the corridors of power where the Communist Party held sway. We turn first to West Bengal, a state that saw uninterrupted communist rule for over three decades. Here, the party implemented extensive land reforms, redistributing land from the wealthy to the landless and marginal farmers. This policy was hailed as a major success, empowering the rural poor and reducing income inequality. In the southern state of Kerala, the Communist Party scripted history by becoming the first elected communist government in the world. Kerala's progress in education and healthcare sectors is often attributed to the party's policies. The state's literacy rate and life expectancy figures are comparable to those of developed nations, a testament to the party's emphasis on social welfare. Moving eastward to Tripura, the Communist Party held power for a quarter of a century. Here too, land reforms were a key focus, with tribal land rights being a significant issue. The party's efforts in promoting tribal welfare and reducing social inequality were notable. Yet, the party's time in power was not without its challenges. In West Bengal, industrial decline and political violence were continual issues. Kerala's economic growth lagged behind other Indian states, despite its social development. In Tripura, the party faced allegations of suppressing political dissent. The Communist Party's rule in these states also highlighted a key issue, 
the difficulty of implementing Marxist principles in a democratic framework. The party had to constantly balance its ideological commitments with the practical realities of governance and electoral politics. Through it all, the Communist Party's time in power was marked by a commitment to social justice and equity. Whether it was land redistribution in West Bengal, health care and education in Kerala, or tribal rights in Tripura, the party strived to bring about substantive change. The experience of governance brought both successes and challenges for the Communist Party, shaping its trajectory in unique ways. Fast forward to the present day and the Communist Party of India finds itself at a crossroads. Today, the party grapples with its relevance in a rapidly evolving political landscape. While the party does maintain influence in a handful of states, its national footprint has diminished over the years. The reasons for this are manifold, including a shift in political ideologies and the rise of new, more centrist parties. However, the party isn't taking these challenges lying down. It's working hard to reinvent itself, to resonate with a younger, more contemporary audience. Its efforts include embracing modern communication platforms and advocating for issues that appeal to the youth, such as climate change and social justice. Yet, the path is steep and fraught with obstacles. The party must not only win the trust of the younger generation, but also reconcile its traditional ideologies with their aspirations. The Communist Party of India continues to navigate the turbulent waters of Indian politics, its journey far from over. The Communist Party of India, from its inception to the present day, has traversed a path filled with twists and turns. Born out of the fervor of anti-imperialist sentiment, the party played a significant role in the struggle for independence. Yet the journey was not without its share of internal strife, leading to a defining split in 1964, carving out a new political entity, the Communist Party of India, Marxist. The party's stint in power, particularly in states like West Bengal and Kerala, brought about substantial changes in socio-economic structures while also sparking considerable controversy. Today, the party continues to be an active participant in the political landscape, albeit with a diminished presence. The story of the Communist Party of India is one of paradoxes and contradictions, of victories and setbacks. As we delve into the story of the Communist Party of India, we uncover a narrative of struggle, resilience and the relentless pursuit of a socialist ideal.